Hello Matrix and welcome again. Today we are going to be looking at how to find the final payment on a loan. So this is when your final payment is less than the previous payments that you've been making. So it's basically the last little payment that you need to make in order to clear the loan. So in the previous video we learned how to find out how many installments uh, you, uh, you need to uh, pay. And now we're going to look at the final payment. So remember the final payment um, is always obviously the last payment. And so what you can do is you can get the balance outstanding just before, in other words, the month before you make that payment, that last payment, you get the balance outstanding. So we use the balance outstanding formula. We just take it to um, the month before you make that last payment. And then that balance, you just need to add interest for one month in order to, um, um, in order to pay, in order to settle the loan. So what I'm gonna do in light blue, here's the balance outstanding. So what this formula says is, um, take the future value of the payment just before, uh, future value of the loan just before you make that last payment. So that would be if, so we worked out here that there was 37 payments. So let's just do that on the timeline quickly. So we've got um, T0, you've made all these payments, and at 36, at T37, there's a, a final payment. T36, T37 is the last payment over here. Okay, so all we need is the balance here at T37, and then just give it one month's interest. So we get the balance outstanding here, and then the final payment, we're just going to add one month's interest. Okay, to get to there. So just one month times I. So what we could say, say is we could make this formula a final payments formula. So we could see, say that the final payment, let's do this in, um, what haven't we used? Uh, pink. So we can say final payment is going to be the balance outstanding, right? But we're going to just give it that one month's interest. So the balance outstanding um, at N minus one, right? Because it's going to be the total minus one. So in this case, you find the balance outstanding in 36 months. So let's do that. So let's, let's, so they want the final payment to the nearest rand Genevieve has to pay to settle the loan. So we're going to get the balance outstanding and let's make it clear that this is 36 months. And so that is going to be the value of the loan, which was 9406.8. Seven nine, but then that gets interest for thirty six months. But then, of course, we have to subtract the value of the payments that you've made. So that we use the F, the future value of the payments, and so that is payments of thirty two hundred at one plus. I, which is 15% over 12, because the payments are going straight in with the loan. So the interests are all the same. And the, the, what I meant to say is the payments are going in to pay off the loan. Uh, this would be then uh, 36 minus one all over. Not gonna come right. Last try. Okay, that's a 12. Didn't wanna cross that out, but that's okay. 15% over 12. And so this is going to give us the balance outstanding at up to 36. And we remember we, after that, we, did, we do need to um, add interest for one month. So we put that into our calculator, this whole thing. We put in orange and then the bit in minus the bit in blue, and we should get the value outstanding. Okay, and so that is going to be our 
balance outstanding after 36 months. And this is say equals 265172. And then we can, to get our final payment, Uh, we did that in, we did that in pink sorry we said final payment equals and then we say the 2651.72 dot 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 multiplied by the one month's interest one plus 0.15 percent over 12 and we can get that Put that into our calculator we can just use the value that we've been doing there so that would be then multiplied by one plus open brackets fifteen percent over twelve And we get 268487. Now they want it to the nearest rand. Okay, so uh, this is so they want it to the nearest rand because everyone's going to get a different value. So that's actually a nice way of kind of moderating it. So in the previous video, I did it and then um, I think I got. Uh, a different a way different value because I did rounding it was more just I, I didn't round I didn't use the 940679 so in the video where I showed you how to use the decimal you'd use the 9406.79 and you would get 2684 comma something or five but it would round to 2685 okay so um, what we're gonna say there is two six eight five and of course this value will be the same as the memo because it doesn't uh the, the little sense that you might be out because of rounding will be will sort of come to the same uh we'll end up with two six eight five so <clears throat> uh hopefully that helps so that's the balance outstanding of the loan uh in the next video i'm going to do one more video <laughs> on finance with the investments before doing the effective interest which might come up and that's something that they don't give you a formula for so we have to remember it so subscribe so that you get notifications on all these matric maths videos and i will see you in the next lesson